Hey, what's up, everybody? You're through the back in the space, back in the place. Once again, Mickey Smith Jr. And today, today, in an effort to keep on going, we're talking about what it means to, like the song say, don't worry, be happy. How can you enjoy every day no matter what? How can you enjoy teaching each and every day no matter what? I believe it comes down to this simple statement. Don't worry, it's only worry. <laughs> I need you to say that. Don't worry, it's only worry. I want to provide you today a management action plan to stop worrying so that you can start living and keep on going. So I'm gonna give you a few concepts today. I'm gonna talk fast, but th I'm putting this on a video so you can go back and watch it and really sit down and, and take this in uh, because these, these are sound principles that will help you create a sound like none other. Number one, number one, uh, I need you to understand that worry will steer the vehicle of your life, but only if you allow it. Worry will steer the vehicle of your life, but only if you allow it. You know, we're all taking this journey from potential to promise, and the vehicle that we operate in is our life. We don't want to give the steering wheel to worry, if at all possible. So my advice for you, my sound advice for you in this season, the sound bite, if you can take one thing away, is today, uh, you know, understanding we're more connected than we've ever been before, thanks to technology, systems, even such as the one that I'm using here. But at the same time, even though we're more connected, we're actually more stressed than ever before. How is that? Um, I believe it's because sometimes we've lost sight of the most important things. Uh, be, you need to become more aware. Awareness is the key. And you know, we talk about our, our flight assessment. We talk about uh, uh, the different things, the, man, the management action plan. This is, at the end of the day, it's about awareness. It's about developing that awareness of what? Your triggers, your behaviors, your preferences, your tendencies. Uh, that ultimately create the behavior, so to speak. And, and and once you are aware of them, then make a plan of action to overcome them. That's what it's about. It's not about trying to use this to manipulate anybody else or figure out anybody else. It's about it's about being a student of yourself, being the best version of yourself. Uh, so don't worry. Don't worry. Why? Because if you have the tools that you can use to steer your vehicle, then you put yourself in a position to not give worry <laughs> the ability to dictate the day. Number two, number two, I need you to banish your worries by living firmly in the here and the now. Here and now are the two most powerful words of mindfulness there could ever be, here and now. I want you to think about that. Because in the here and the now, we find the precious gift, the precious present, the now. There's no other moment like the one we're in right now. So it's so important that you're actually here for it, that you're present for it. So my, my, my sound advice for you, the sound bite that I want to give you on this one is, when you focus on the task you have now, here and now, in the precious present, you can do better and you can, you can present further anxiety. So many times we're so, we're so locked into what possibly could be, and by the way, most of that stuff never is going to happen, or the things that were in the past, things we can't change, that we miss the precious gift. So I need you to focus on the task you have at hand. That's why it's so important. If you look at the uh, the, the management action plan that I have for, for, for your daily planner, it's so important that you give that intentionality to where you're at right now because where you're at right now is going to dictate where you're going to be in the future. You can't make the next steps the best steps if you don't recognize where you are right now in the here and the now. Number three. I need you to to I need you to, to focus on the triad to terminate the trouble. I need you to focus on the triad to terminate the trouble. So what's the, the what's the triad that terminates the trouble? It's three things. It's it's number one, take the situation and analysis. Okay? I need you to take the situation and analyze it. Okay? The analysis is what's gonna get you out of it. Take your situation, analyze it. <laughs> before deciding on anything. Sometimes we make a decision, we hadn't really counted the cost. I need you to count the cost. Number two, once you analyze it, okay, you hadn't made the decision yet. Once you analyze it, then accept, then decide, okay? Then decide what that worst case scenario is gonna be, okay? For perspective sake, right? So now we're putting ourselves in position, we're gonna see the situation and we've counted the cost. Too many people are stepping out and they haven't even counted the cost of what, what this thing really entails. And then number three, I need you then to try and improve the worst case scenario. I want you to reframe it positively. Think about what we just said. First thing is, I need you to really count the cost. Look over it, reflect it, analyze it. Then once you analyze it, then make a decision. And then once you've made that decision, then go back and say, okay, if everything goes to hell in a handbasket, so to speak, if everything goes bad, then what will I do? 
You know, we don't we don't not build buildings because they can burn down. We build the building and then we come up with a fire drill. You don't just not do something because something could happen. So so always keep that in mind. So my my sound advice or my sound bite on this one would be that the worst case scenarios in life very rarely happen. I need you to understand this. It, it, more times than not, the worst case scenarios are not out there happening. A lot of times it's just it's just things that that create worry. However, in the event that it does happen, it's so important that you set up a level of understanding of how you would overcome it, okay? That helps us feel more in control and more confident, even in the worst case scenarios. And, and we all have worries and you're more than welcome to have the worry just as long as the worry doesn't have you. I don't need you to hear that. Worry can manifest itself in physical symptoms. You know, it can, it can even harm our, our health uh, and damage our mental health and our emotional health at the same time. So it's so important that we put ourselves in positions to not be the victims of the worry itself, okay? You can, you can worry, just don't let the worry have you, okay? You can have the worries, just don't let it consume you. Number four, I need you, I need you to face your worries and analyze them to ABC. What do I mean by ABC? Achieve balance and clarity. I need you to face your worries and analyze them in order to achieve balance and clarity. Don't run from the worry. <laughs> analyze the worry and then figure out how to take control of that. So so, so when we talk about the analysis to, to, to the problem, uh, I, I don't want to just give you with a speech. I want to give you practical tools, transformative tools that you can use to transform your situation. I need you to identify the problem, number one. I need you. I need you next. I need you to identify the cause of the problem. These are so important. A lot of times we just get consumed in the problem. We haven't really looked at the situation. Somebody, uh, there's a there's a scripture that said, "I walked in the valley of the shadow of the death," and somebody broke it down. He was like, first off, if it's a shadow, that means they ain't really on you. Like they, there's distance. <laughs> death is the distance. And on top of that, if it's a shadow, that also tells me that there's light. There's light. So my job is beyond the shadow because a shadow never killed anybody right? The shadow can't hurt you. I'm looking for the light. And so many times we get so consumed in the problem, we, we call we call them the fight defeated just from the shadow. Come on, guys. I need you to look beyond the shadows, look beyond the problems, identify the problem, and then identify the cause of the problem, and then come up with a list of possible solutions for the problem. And then finally, shortlist that down to the best solutions. Why? Because problems were meant to be recognized, but never meant to be committed to commit to the solution. If I can give you a sound bite, or a little sound advice on this one, it would simply be this. Your ability to be strategic in your thinking, that helps you overcome the inevitable. Okay. You don't have to lose. You can win. You can make today a Wednesday, W-I-N-S, but it's knowing that you can handle whatever comes your way. Because when you understand that, then that gives you greater confidence and that confidence gives you greater competence and the competence gives you greater confidence and that cycle of competence, competence actually gives you power, power that many of us are overlooking in this season. That's why I say keep on going. Calm down and be methodical, guys. Be methodical. Number five, I need you to keep busy. OK, I need you to keep busy. Keeping busy distracts your mind from the everyday worries. I'm not saying put your head in the sand. I'm just saying Put your nose to the grindstone. Put your hand to the plow. Why? Because if I can give you some sound advice today, if you stay busy, then it, then, then 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 once you once you get in that mode of staying busy, then then that you keep making plans and you keep following through with the plans, and that's that's the best way to ensure that your focus is not on the problem, and you won't have the space in your brain to entertain the worries. What do I mean, the worries? I'm not saying be be negligent of your responsibilities, but when I say worries, the worries are things that will never happen oftentimes. I mean, like the worries are like next to nil. Uh, last one, because this is a part one of a, of a two part series I'm going to give. Last one for right now. The ultimate question is, what are the chances? I, need, I really need you to think about that. What are the chances? If I can give you some sound advice on this one. Again, I'm not telling you to be negligent of responsibility. I'm just telling you not to give invitation and not embrace the fancy, the fanciful, okay, the, the fantasy. Because a lot of times worry is nothing more than 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 fantasy, okay. It's 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 unhealthy fantasy. It's 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 a fantasy of the thing that probably won't even really come to fruition. But the fear of it, it's a fearful fantasy that keeps us paralyzed from a problem that never really will come to to fruition. My, my sound advice for you on this, if I can give you a sound bite, 
most of the things that we worry about are extremely rare and unlikely that they're going to happen. I want you to think about it. The fact that you'll get mauled by a grizzly bear, very rare, very rare. Shark attacks, very rare. Now they happen, but I'm not going to not go to the beach <laughs> because of a shiver of sharks somewhere in, in, in Louisiana. Guys, that's not the norm. Now, when that becomes the norm, then we can talk. But there are so many things that are not the norm. And I know we're living in unprecedented times, but there's still a sense of precedent that we need to embrace and don't chase the fear and the fantasy called worry of those things that won't happen. If something adverse does happen to us in our lives, the human ability to adapt to it and to survive is pretty incredible. Think about it. You're here today because you've overcome 100% of the challenges that have faced you in your life and that you faced in your life. Think about that. The odds are in your favor. This is why I say keep on going. Don't worry about the worry. Don't worry about the worry. It's only worry. Now, I hope this benefits somebody today. I don't want to just give you a talk. I want to give you tools that you can use. So use what we shared in this first of two series to create your management action plan of how you're going to attack and overcome the worry that is <laughs> that is that is overcoming so many people in this this time and this season of anxiety and stress you can still be your best but only if you keep on going hey keep on going see the sound your sound will change the world if you do just that find out more on the website mickeysmithjr.com